Hi, welcome back to our Spreadable Parent Q&A. We get a lot of questions from parents about behavior at the park. Our first question is, how do I prevent my child from having a complete meltdown every time we leave the park? And what do I do when they're actually having that meltdown? So to try to prevent those meltdowns, we wanna give them as much opportunity for warnings and help with transitions as possible. So I always like to say, what is... And you want that last thing to be meaty, right? It's not just like one more slide down the slide. It's one more activity. So it's, do you wanna play with that ball that we brought? Do we wanna go on the merry-go-round? Do you wanna have some turns on the swing? So really setting them up for that one last thing to do. The other thing is that often we say this, we give them that setup like we're leaving soon, and then we run into that awesome parent or that neighbor and we go on to have a 20 minute long conversation and then suddenly it really is time to go and so then we're whisking them away and that can be really confusing for kids. So having our own executive functioning and planning and organizing, so you're setting yourself up for a really clear follow through. So at this point, gathering up if you've been there for a while, gathering up your picnic, making sure the stroller is all put together, like really having yourself ready to go. So when they finish with that one last activity, then it really is time to leave. Then when it's time to go and they're still so sad at this point, we're following through, we've said it's time to go allow them to wave goodbye, say goodbye to our friends, wave goodbye to the park, and then keep moving them along. So use your transition tricks for what they're really into, using an animal, oh, look at that airplane in the sky, let's be our own helicopter, and then giving them some sort of a transition item. So even if it's a little like rock that they've been holding in their hand that you're saying, okay, let's go put that rock over by the tree just to walk them closer to the car, or can you carry my keys to the car? Can you be a big helper and carry this bag? Can you help me push the button when we get to the car to make it unlock? So using those sort of transition items just to move them to that second location and then you just keep moving. Don't wallow with them in it. Just keep them moving to that second location. When they do have that absolute complete meltdown, just know you're not alone. All kids do. Having them just validating their feelings, saying, I know it is so hard to leave this park. It is so hard to say goodbye and we'll be back tomorrow. And then you just scoop them up and you go. So even when they're writhing and being you know, so upset, if you've said it's time to go, then you just go. And then giving them a little more bite-sized options as you move along to redirect or distract them. So do you wanna help me push the stroll? Okay, you're still not ready for that. Okay, do you wanna help me push the button to open the car? What snack are we gonna have when we get home? So really helping guide them to that next stage. Another trick I like to use is to give kids a big wish. You are so sad that you're leaving and you wish you could stay here all day. You wish you could stay here all night. You wish your bed was underneath the swings and that you could just slide down the slide right into your bed and that we would never have to leave ever, ever, ever. We could have all of our food delivered. So just giving it bigger and grander. So just allowing them to indulge in that can sometimes be enough just to satisfy them. So again, you are totally not alone. All kids have meltdowns. Just keep your own composure when you can just to stay calm and really reassuring them that you will be back. And just thinking of it as, you know, for them, they just had such a blast. That's a great thing. And just honoring, like, we just had so much fun. That was awesome. And we'll have fun again tomorrow. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be disappointed. I feel sad too when I'm leaving something super fun. Thanks so much for writing in and we've got some more tips and tricks for parks headed your way soon. Real moments are learning moments.